there is a lot of fusion, nuclear fusion that is happening in the sun. So there is a systemic change happening in our world. Create a new energy system. It seems that finally this theory about how to create all those ways that we can produce energy in a sustainable manner. Hi, here is Mark Rulenius, your traveling future. I'm now here in the Middle East. And you know what? Here, the sun is hot, even in the winter, like where we are now. Now, why do we have the hot sun here? We have because there is a lot of fusion, nuclear fusion that is happening in the sun emitting the energy and the warmth towards the earth. Now, using nuclear fusion has been a type of a dream ever since 1950s. There was some first ideas about how to use that type of the energy. You see, what later came as nuclear power is its nasty cousin. There we are talking about the nuclear fission. So the reaction is very different and the result is very different too because with the nuclear fission, as we all know, we get radioactive waste. And also, at least indirectly, we get a lot of CO2 emissions too. So, from our perspective, that is not sustainable energy. So, nuclear fusion, on the other hand, we need only two nitrogen, hydrogen particles there. And the end result is that we are not producing any radioactive waste. We're just producing energy. Now the problem this far has been that this is a very challenging technology. And over the years and decades, there have been a lot of promises for the breakthrough, but nothing really has happened. Whether it's in France or whether it's in US or elsewhere. But now we are come to the point that at least in the laboratory conditions, it seems that finally this theory about how to create more energy as an output than what we have when we put in those energy stakes seems to finally be proven by science. In the US, in Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, they have been conducted, conducting tests. Um, and as a result of those tests, it seems to show that actually something which is called the laser fusion is the solution whereby we can really produce more energy as an output. And even if it's done in the laboratory scale to the extent that we're talking about the heat that amounts to warming up a water in the kettle, the principle on which it works is tantalizing and it's shaking the world right now because now it's the first time that this theory has been proven that it works and now we can see how there might be the, the next and the next steps when we start slowly to scale up and bring this energy to the use of the world. As we know, our dependency on the fossil fuels is our gravest threat because we see now based on so much research and the conclusions that we are on the runaway path 
to the type of the climate change that nobody wishes on Earth. Already, we have a lot of records that prove that we are getting into this type of the weather patterns that are more extreme in all parts of the world. So there is a systemic change happening in our weather patterns. So, and this is all because of the greenhouse gases that we have put into the atmosphere. And as a result of that, there is a very different kind of atmosphere now above us. So as a part of healing the system, so to say, we need to change our energy system. It's not the only solution that we have, but when it comes to what we can do with our technology and with our sort of a tools and measures that has to do with how we run our economies. Changing the energy system is by far the most important. Then we also obviously have to tie the carbon back from the atmosphere, um, either to the soil or to the forest. But I said, in addition to this, we need to change the system so that we are not emitting new greenhouse gases, new carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And there we get to the point of why fusion energy would be so important for us. So together with other renewable energies, solar panels, windmills, wave of energy, uh, battery storage, geothermal heat and so much more. All those ways that we can produce energy in a sustainable manner. We need all those means. We need all the measures that we can take. Because once we create a new energy system, we will not only solve the problem of the climate crisis, we will also solve the problem of our economy, which is because of our use of the fossil fuel, not e efficient, uh, not productive in any sense. And in addition, it's causing us a lot of political harm. And in addition to that, it's causing destruction in our nature. So all these things combined we need to be grateful if this fusion energy will finally come true. Subscribe to my channel, see other related videos and learn more about your future.